brutally attacked and left to die. Last hour, we told you the first part of Al Carlson's story. He's a well-known fixture in the community of Shadyside. Now, in the second part of his story, KDK lead investigator Andy Sheehan digs deeper into the suspect who allegedly attacked him. And that also includes that man's possible motivation for the attack and why the victim and his neighbors say they're not buying it. When police arrested the suspect, he mysteriously told them he attacked Al Carlson out of convenience. He also told investigators he had smoked synthetic marijuana. Neighbors say that's no defense. He was here, and as I passed him, he turned and looked at me and says, I got you. Then he started slashing with the knife. Just like that, the attacker struck for no apparent reason. Someone he didn't know stabbed Al Carlson repeatedly in the neck, chest, and stomach, seven times in all, throwing him down these basement steps, leaving him for dead. I mean, this is totally unprovoked. No reason. When police arrested 21-year-old Jasper Hilliard, he confessed, telling them he attacked Carlson, quote, out of convenience. In court, an assistant district attorney quoted Hilliard as saying he had smoked a kind of synthetic marijuana known as K2. It's unclear if Hilliard will cite the effects of this drug in his defense, but Carlson and his neighbors say it's no excuse. Why should Al have to pay for a bad reaction that he got from it? You know, he should have thought about those bad reactions when he took it. He's standing there over and over and over and over. He still struggles to see why. I'm not going to stand and say I wish him dead. I didn't die, but you know, he should pay for this. Just days after the attack, with Al fighting for his life in the hospital, neighbors were shocked to see Hilliard back in the neighborhood. The magistrate had set bail at a million dollars, but Hilliard's family in New Jersey put up the required $100,000 in cash to get him out of jail. The district attorney appealed, and Judge Edward Borkowski revoked the bond, sending Hilliard back to jail. But Borkowski has since granted the family's request to have him await trial at their home. His attorney issuing KDKA this statement, quote, Mr. Hilliard understands the concerns of the community due to these serious allegations and is abiding by the court-ordered treatment safety plan at home in New Jersey where he's addressing any mental health and substance abuse concerns. I feel that he should be in jail in the county he committed the crime in. And neighbors who have gone to these hearings in support of Al agree. This was attempted murder against an innocent victim in the middle of the afternoon. The criminal seems to have more rights than the victim. The neighbors say it is more than a minor miracle that Al is back up and walking, but it is largely due to their quick response and their continued support. Now they say justice must be done. Reporting in Shadyside, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.